Tommy's mother often remarked on his sweet nature, so it came as no surprise when he willingly offered to assist their elderly neighbor with her groceries. The woman struggled to manage the bags alone, and Tommy saw it as a simple act of kindness. This wasn't his first time helping. It had almost become a regular occurrence. However, upon glimpsing the inside of her home, Tommy realized he may have misjudged the situation. Before we embark on this captivating journey, we kindly invite you to show your support by engaging with our content. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a thoughtful comment stating, I've subscribed. Additionally, if you find this story as inspiring as we do, don't forget to share it with your loved ones. Your support means the world to us. Initially, Tommy had viewed the woman as a benign figure, but the reality he encountered inside her house contradicted his expectations. This prompted him to reflect on their initial meeting. Was it mere chance, or had the elderly lady orchestrated their encounters? Recalling his first offer of assistance, prompted by his mother's illness, Tommy remembered observing Miss Helen's visits to the grocery store, coinciding with his own. Despite his early obliviousness, Tommy couldn't ignore the woman's evident struggle during subsequent visits. Moved by empathy, he stepped in to help, unaware that it marked the beginning of his entanglement in a perplexing situation. Approaching her with a smile, Tommy extended his offer of assistance. Good afternoon, Miss Helen. Do you need any help with your bags? He asked warmly. The old lady's eyes crinkled with appreciation as she accepted his aid. That is so sweet of you to ask, little boy. She replied gratefully. As they made their way home, conversation flowed between the two. You really are such a good kid, Tommy. Miss Helen praised. I wish my son and grandson were more like you. What he said next, however, would prove to be his second mistake. Upon hearing Helen's words, Tommy couldn't shake the feeling that it wasn't right for a kind lady like her to face such difficulties. I go to the store for my mom a couple of times a week. You could come with me if you want. He proposed. Are you sure, Tommy? I don't want to be a nuisance to you or your mom. She questioned, but Tommy's conviction was unwavering. He nodded fervently. I'm absolutely sure, he affirmed. Miss Helen smiled warmly as they approached their respective homes. You truly are the sweetest neighbor I have. However, upon reaching the front door, a peculiar action from Miss Helen caught Tommy off guard. She almost seemed to barricade the door for him, smiling as she handed him the bag of groceries intended for his mother. What was she concealing? Was she involved in something illicit? During their subsequent grocery trip, Tommy found his patience tested as Miss Helen delved into inquiries about his family. How's your mother these days? Tommy responded politely, but felt a subtle unease creeping in. As their interactions progressed, Miss Helen's questions delved into increasingly personal territory. You remind me of my grandson. He was just like you at your age. She remarked on one occasion, sending a shiver down Tommy's spine. With each encounter, Tommy's suspicions regarding Miss Helen's motives deepened. Her probing inquiries hinted at a familiarity with his family that unsettled him. During their most recent outing, Miss Helen's words took on a cryptic tone, leaving Tommy to ponder the true nature of their relationship. You know, Tommy, life has a way of bringing people together, often in the most unexpected ways, she mused. Inspired by her words, Tommy chose to confide in his mother about Miss Helen's unusual inquiries over dinner. He delicately broached the subject, elaborating on the probing nature of their discussions. However, his mother swiftly brushed aside his concerns with a gentle laugh. Oh, Tommy, she's just an old lady being friendly. During one evening's conversation about a family photo album, Tommy casually mentioned Miss Helen. In that moment, he glimpsed a fleeting sorrow in his mother's eyes, swiftly concealed. It was a look unfamiliar to him, tinged with a depth of emotion hinting at hidden pain from the past. Exiting Miss Helen's home after another grocery trip, a sudden gust of wind thrust her front door wide open, catching Tommy off guard. Pausing, he observed the dimly lit hallway, a space previously unseen, stirring a blend of curiosity and apprehension within him. Adorned with aged photographs, each frame dusted with time, the images seemed to tell tales of bygone eras, stories to which Tommy felt an inexplicable connection. This unexpected discovery sent a shiver down his spine, mingling surprise with a growing sense of mystery. As he departed, questions flooded Tommy's mind. Why did Miss Helen possess photos resembling him? In the ensuing days, his unease morphed into deep-seated suspicion. He meticulously re-evaluated every interaction with Miss Helen, 
approaching their next grocery outing with heightened vigilance. Observing her expressions, attentively listening to her words and noting her reactions, Tommy scrutinized every gesture and pause in conversation, hoping to decipher her true intentions. The once familiar and friendly old lady now seemed cloaked in a veil of mystery. Summoning his courage, Tommy approached Miss Helen's house with determination to confront her. The weight of his suspicions and the lingering mysteries urged him to seek answers. Knocking on her door, his heart pounded, rehearsing the questions swirling in his mind. As the door creaked open, Tommy began, Miss Helen, I need to discuss something with you. His voice steadier than he felt. He mentioned the unsettling resemblance of certain photographs to himself, expressing his growing unease. Miss Helen's expression shifted from surprise to a complex blend of emotions as Tommy spoke, evoking a mixture of disappointment and frustration. Finally, Tommy uttered, I can't continue like this. I can't assist you with your groceries anymore. His voice carried a sadness he hadn't anticipated. Leaving Miss Helen's residence, Tommy was engulfed in a bewildering mix of relief and confusion. Instead of resolution, he was left with more unanswered questions and an unsettling sense of unease about the hidden depths of their neighborly relationship. With the door closing behind him, their routine interactions came to an end, but the enigmatic mystery continued to haunt him. Just as Tommy turned to depart, Miss Helen's voice halted him in his tracks. Tommy, wait. There's something you need to know. I'm your paternal grandmother. Her words hung in the air laden with profound implications. Many years ago, your parents had twins, you and your brother. Following their separation, each parent took one child. It was a painful decision. She revealed, her eyes shimmering with unshed tears. Tommy stood there, numb, as Miss Helen's words echoed in his mind. His heart raced with a mixture of dread and urgency as he made his way home, determined to confront his mother with what he had just learned. When his mother returned, Tommy was waiting, the letter clutched tightly in his hands. Mom, we need to talk. He began, his voice trembling with emotion. He confronted her about the letter, about Miss Helen, and the brother he never knew. His mother's eyes filled with tears as she confirmed the truth of Miss Helen's story. Yes, Tommy, you have a twin brother. She admitted, her voice breaking. Tommy sat in stunned silence, grappling with a whirlwind of emotions. Betrayal, shock, and a burgeoning curiosity about his twin brother consumed him. With a newfound resolve, Tommy approached Miss Helen for assistance in reaching out to his twin brother. Miss Helen, expressing a blend of remorse and hope, provided Tommy with contact details she had kept all these years. The voice that answered was like hearing an echo of himself. Hello, it said, hesitant yet curious. Hi, it's Tommy, your brother, Tommy replied his voice laced with a mix of nervousness and excitement. The conversation that followed was a surreal blend of awkwardness and instant familiarity. For the first time, Tommy spoke with his twin, bridging a lifetime of separation with words. Their initial conversation, filled with a myriad of emotions, led to the inevitable decision to meet. They arranged a place and time, each feeling a mix of anticipation and apprehension. The moment Tommy saw his twin, it was as if he was looking into a mirror that reflected a different life. It was a reunion that was both heart-rending and healing, marking the beginning of a new chapter in their lives. The story culminated in a family gathering where Tommy, his twin, and their extended family came together. It was a celebration of rediscovered connections, newfound bonds. Laughter and stories filled the room, weaving the fragmented pieces of their family back together. As Tommy looked around at the faces of his family, both familiar and new, he felt a profound sense of completeness.